In this video, I'm going to solve d2y by dx squared plus 8dy by dx plus 16y is equal to minus 32 sine of 4x. So first of all, the auxiliary equation would be m squared plus 8m plus 16 is equal to 0. Now this is a perfect square, so m plus 4 all squared is equal to 0. So that means that m must got to be equal to minus 4. Now, because we've got the repeated root here, that means the uh, complementary function would be y is equal to c1 plus c2x times by e to the minus 4x. Okay, so that's our complementary function. Right, now that solves the homogeneous case. Now we've got to look at the right hand side. And we've got to suggest a trial function for this. So the trial function would be y is equal to some multiple a times sine of 4x plus some multiple b times cosine of 4x. Okay. Now for this I need to find dy by dx and d2y by dx squared. So dy by dx would be equal to 4a cosine of 4x, take away 4b sine of 4x. Then d2y by dx squared would be equal to minus 16a sine of 4x, take away 16b cosine of 4x. So now substituting in, We've got the minus 16a sine 4x take away 16b cosine 4x plus 8 lots of dy by dx. So 8 lots of 4 is 32, so plus 32a cosine 4x take away 32b sine 4x. Then we've got 16 lots of y, so plus 16a sine 4x plus 16 lots of b cosine 4x. And that's all going to be equal to minus 32 sine of 4x. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to group together the sine 4x's and the cosine 4x's. Now for sine of 4x, we've got minus 16a, we've got minus 32b, and we've got 16a. Now, of course, those two terms are going to knock each other out. So we're just going to have the minus 32b sine 4x. Now, for the cosines, we've got the minus 16b cosine 4x and the 16b cosine 4x. So they knock each other out. And I'm going to be left with 32a cosine 4x. And that's got to be equal to the minus 32 sine of 4x. Now, we compare coefficients. The minus 32b has got to be equal to the minus 32. So that implies that b has got to be 1. And we've got no cosine 4x's on the right hand side. So 32a has got to be equal to 0. So that means that a is 0. So that means that we should just have y is equal to one lot of cosine 4x. And so that's the particular integral. So we're just going to add on cosine of 4x. Because a is 0 and b is 1. And so that is the general solution to my second order differential equation.